it's Pia and today I'm going to be doing a video all about the things I do when I'm feeling depressed. Fun! I have never done a mental health video. Even though I didn't mention it as one of my New Year's resolutions, it's kind of one of my New Year's resolutions because I have like gotten a lot of tips of like how to deal with my mental illness from like my therapist and books and reading and researching and things like that um that I want to share with you so these are just some things that I do when I'm depressed I'm in no way an expert I'm just someone who has depression and anxiety if you want to see more mental health videos let me know or if you hated this one please don't let me know because I'll cry yeah also if you like my new tapestry it's so cool right anyway <laughs> but without further ado we're gonna get into the things that I do when I'm feeling depressed list because it was actually something my therapist suggested to have like a list of things that you can do like quick <laughs> things that you can easily do um, if you're in a really bad mental state so you don't start spiraling which is a thing I, I like to do the first thing is that I do typically is cry <laughs> you gotta get it like out like right yeah better out than in I've been told um, I had this one assembly in like fifth grade and it was like all about this like balloon in your chest so if you're like feeling really bad it starts to like expand and then you keep it in and then it pops eventually so you don't want it to pop all the time so you just gotta let it out if you're feeling bad like you know go home and cry for a long time until you can't cry no more and it's really good it's kind of relieving actually I mean that's my thoughts <laughs> the thing I like to do is sleep slash take a nap um I typically cry when I'm in my bed and then I just sleep after that works really well because then you kind of wake up and you're kind of like it's like a restart like reset you typically or at least I am in a better mental state and I'm not like as um, irrational um, after I've like taken a nap or something so I think that works really well <laughs> another thing that I like to do that is kind of like a reset like sleeping like if you don't want to like sleep or you can't sleep is to take a shower like not only does it make like yourself clean obviously but like it makes like your soul clean. But that was so cheesy, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's actually a really good thing. It can kind of like wake you up again, get get you out of like that mental state and like restart, reset your kind of brain and it works well for me. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> this video is so bad. A thing I like to do when I'm not feeling so great is to read, like read a little bit. Um, it also helps, like for me at least, to read a book that maybe I've read before or one that I like really identify with and that can help me and make me happy and I can get immersed into the story and not think about my own problems, think about the character problems. It's a th it's a good thing. <laughs> um, a book that I typically like to read is Girl Online just because I've read it like five times and it's just so sweet and uh, the main character also deals with anxiety um, and there are other books like or if I'm just like in the middle of a different book. It doesn't really matter. Just picking up a book and like reading and immersing yourself into something that is not your problems in your life and whatever is going on in your head is very great. Going along with that, watching TV can really help me. I don't know if it might help you. None of these might not help you, but like I try. Watching TV, whether it's like a drama or a comedy, you might like think like you shouldn't watch a drama, but I find it really helpful because again, you're immersed in someone else's problems and they seem so like big like com in comparison to yours and yours kind of like diminish because like one of my favorite one of my favorite shows is gossip girl and it's so like <laughs> the, the characters have so many problems and it's so funny to watch because they're just like manhattan's elite and they're like oh my god like i didn't get invited to the party and it's like this gala with like money i don't know <laughs> so it kind of makes your problems seem less it also makes their problems seem less than yours but it can just immerse you in a story and again focusing on someone else's life rather than yours can kind of put things in perspective and help you also comedies are great because you laugh and smiling and laughing the next thing is related to that and that is smiling it feels so stupid like let me tell you but my dad has told me this like a thousand times he loves doing research so he knows this is medically proven i don't know but smiling the muscles in your face like it takes a smile like actually makes you happier it's so stupid. Like, it's so, so stupid. But if you force yourself to laugh, force yourself to smile, it can eventually help you actually be happier. I don't understand how that works. I think it takes, like, more muscles in your face to frown and to smile. It's something like that. <laughs> I don't know. 
but it actually works like I'm it's stupid but it works another thing I like to do is color or watercolor I have a ton of those like adult coloring books that are for like mental health and stress and things like that and I love them so much just like focus it again like just you have to take your mind off of it in some way which helps you this is one of my favorite so I don't know <laughs> So uh, coloring is great, watercoloring is also great, and like putting on a movie and like doing that for however long, 15 minutes, doesn't even matter, and um, it can be really great, it's also like a creative thing, if you're like a creative person. Last thing that I like to do if I'm not feeling so great up here, <laughs> I don't know where my hand was going, is to play ukulele, um, or play like an instrument, I play like ukulele, um, that's why I play it, <laughs> it's like, no, I'm just gonna pick up the saxophone and just play it, cause I freaking know how to play that. Um, <laughs> it can be really beneficial just like distracting your mind, playing a song, singing, I mean, music's good, maybe, I, I'm making this up. And you can play some happy songs, some of your favorite songs, and just like focusing on the music is so great. I don't know what I'm doing right now, I look like I'm spazzing out. <laughs> That's all for this video, it wasn't that great because I like just talking about things that I do and it might not work with everyone. But I hope you found this video helpful. Again, like, let me know. That's what I do, so uh, if it doesn't work for you, I apologize. But I thought I could give you some ideas, because it's good. <laughs> That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!